please welcome to the stage a very funny, the hilarious Tim Nutt. Here he is. Hello, welcome to the old guy on the show. <laughs> I feel like this is like a Freedom 55 commercial for the other acts. <laughs> I'm you in the future. <laughs> I'm not that old, I just got gray hair. I'm 46. Somebody called me middle-aged the other day. Are you fucking kidding me? I, there's no way I'm gonna be 92. <laughs> kind of optimist are you? I love being older. Older. You, some of you younger people, you might be worried. Turning 40 is the best thing you can ever do. Oh, yeah. Because when you turn 40, you stop giving a shit about almost everything, and it frees up all kinds of time in your day. Like, I literally don't care what kind of phone I have. Just fucking that one. That one looks good. But this one, I don't fucking care. It has a selfie. I don't do that. Does it send the messages and the vocally things? Yeah, fucking give me that one. I love it. I love it. Two good reasons. Uh, two things I have but not Karen. First one is a haircut. A lot of people think I'm making some sort of social statement that it's a fashion thing. I'm expressing my individuality. No, a case of beer and a haircut are the same price. <laughs> Twelve extra cases of beer right there, right? I always drive by the haircutting place on the way to the beer store. Look at you asshole spending your money on booze. Get down to the beer store, high five in the ball, guys. Look at us, we're awesome. The other one, this happened to me not too long ago. I got a speeding ticket the other day, and for the first time in my life, I didn't give a shit. And if you haven't had that, I don't fucking care, I'm getting a ticket ticket. Oh, wait for it, super fun. Because first off, I knew I wasn't in real trouble. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't being dangerous or reckless. Like, I wasn't doing, like, 120 through a school zone on two wheels drunk. Like, that's how fast I was going. I was going, Tom Petty's on the radio, and I fucking love this song. That's how fast I was going. And that's, I think that's 99% of the time when we speed. The fucking song comes on, you're like, yeah, let's go! I think when you get your license, like maybe when you're 21 or whatever, you get a little punch card for five, I fucking love this song, free tickets. <laughs> Where's the fire hot shot? Well, I believe uh, Radar Love by Golden Earring was on the radio. I was driving all night, my hands were wet on the wheel. The voice in my head drove my heel. I have three more punches so you can fuck off. So the real ticket, the real ticket, I got pulled over, I was driving um, through Banff National Park, that's kind of important. Yeah, it was beautiful, and I was just kind of just doing, you know, a little bit fast. And this is the weird part, the policeman that pulled me over was super young. He was like 23, 24 years old, like brand new baby cop. <laughs> Still had the new cop smell on him. <laughs> this is how new he was, he's in shape. <laughs> <laughs> He was all fit and protected. Oh my God, he was, he was adorable. And this is the other part, he was super short. When did the RCMP stop having height requirements? Like, it, I, I was really unnerved at first. The guy was like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and I didn't notice at first, because I pulled over like a good citizen, and I see him coming up in the side view mirror. And there's a sticker right on there that says, objects and mirror will appear smaller. <laughs> But he didn't get any bigger. <laughs> it really looked like a little kid trick-or-treating as a policeman. Like, I swear to God. Like, if you took a regular cop, put him in the dryer for like half hour. <laughs> and I'm a little, per I'm a little perplexed, because I was doing like 95 in the, in the zone, right? And the guy pulls up, I roll down my window, I'm like, what can I do for you, Officer Gigantic? I was only doing... <laughs> Doing a little bit over, I'm assuming you need something off the high shelf. That's what I think you need. <laughs> and he's trying to intimidate me, which was goddamn hilarious. He's like, how fast do you think you're going? I'm like, well, the speedometer goes to 250, so less than that. 
I'm not new. I'm not playing your bullshit side of the road Price is Right game. If you don't know, I'm not telling you. <laughs> if you pick me, make me pick a number, I'm gonna say five. <laughs> He's still doing it. He's like, why are you speeding on my highway? I'm like, cool, your jets. This is a national park. Technically, this is our highway. <laughs> The national park system is a gift for all Canadians. <laughs> but here's the thing, I'm a grown up with a job and I have the money for this ticket in my checking account. This is not a financial hardship. This is an inconvenience. <laughs> so what I want from you, I'm not gonna fight this ticket because I'm not driving back to Alberta to fight a $150 ticket at this gas prices. <laughs> so just go back to your car and fill it out as fast as you can. Don't go back there and check your Facebook and jerk me around on the side of the road for 45 minutes. Because in case you missed it from earlier, I'm in a fucking hurry. <laughs> you got any idea how fast I'm gonna have to go now? <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Keep it going for Tim Nye.